Another skill we need to have is to be able to find inflection points from a formula. Okay, And so before we start that, let's remember what it means to be an inflection point. So what are we looking for? Well, what we're looking for is f double prime of x being equal to 0. And don't forget this, we want it to change signs. All right, And so we'll go through this whole process right now. The way we're going to start it is we need to be able to find when f double prime of x is equal to 0. So we'll start by just taking some derivatives. Right, So f prime of x will be equal to negative 3x squared plus 4x minus 4. And so these are just some power rules that we're doing here. f double prime of x is we're just going to take the derivative of this thing and we'll get negative 6x plus 4. So to find the inflection points of this formula, we just set this equal to 0. right? So we'll set 0 is equal to negative 6x plus 4 or x is equal to negative 4 divided by negative 6, 4 over 6, which is just 2 over 3. And to make sure that this 2 over 3 is an inflection point, now notice it satisfied some of it. If I plug in the 2 over 3 into x here, I'll get 0, which is good. But I need to make sure that f double prime of x changes sign. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this number line that you'll start seeing more and more of. And I'll say, all right, at 2 thirds, what happens at 2 thirds? Well, f double prime of x is 0 there. Now what happens when it's greater than 2 thirds? Let's plug in something that's greater than 2 thirds into this formula. Let's, pl let's plug in 1, all right? So we have a negative 6 times 1 plus 4 equals negative 2, all right? That's a negative number. And you actually know that everything over here will be a negative number. So I'm just going to mark this as negative. What happens if I'm over here? Well, let's plug in something less than 2 thirds. Let's plug in something like 0. So like negative 6 times 0 plus 4, positive 4. So everything over here is positive. So why am I doing this plugging in? Well, it tells me whether the second derivative is positive or negative in this entire interval when I check one point. Same thing over here. I check 0, and it tells me that the second derivative is positive everywhere over here. And why does that help me? Well, I, then I know at 2 thirds that the second derivative is 0. That's what I solved for here. And because of this number line, I know that it changes signs. Right? So big idea for inflection points, get the second derivative, set it equal to 0. Check if your second derivative changes signs around that point that you found.